Advisory services are offered through Creative Financial Designs Incorporated, a registered investment advisor, and securities are offered through CFD. Investments Incorporated, a registered broker-dealer, member of FINRA and SIPC, 765-453-9600. Diamond Financial Group is not associated with the CFD companies. Good afternoon. This is Jason Murphy on Money in Motion. Thank you for listening, and I'm uh, excited today to kind of do a different type of show. Uh, In that, I'm going to interview Miss Heather Skinder-Newton of Skinder-Newton Realty, and she's also going to be interviewing me. So I'm actually just going to ask her a few questions here in just a moment, but did want to remind you that you can always stop by if you have any financial questions, if you're wanting to really just develop a plan. I have told you all before that failing to plan is planning to fail. So if you don't have a plan for your retirement, if you don't have a plan for long-term savings, come by and see me right there at Diamond Financial Group beside Poets on the Square on Broad Street, actually just about a block down the road from Skinder Newton Realty. Uh, We're right there beside each other, which is pretty awesome. But this is the first time that we've officially met each other, which is just horrible. I I feel like I know Heather uh, through her radio show and and even through her husband. Matt Newton is a good friend of mine that uh, we're both in the NWTF, the National Wild Turkey Federation. And uh, so, uh, would uh, just Heather, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. And thanks for doing this with me. I know it's a little different for both of us. So. It is. It absolutely <laughs> is. And so it's it's really cool to have you on. And I know we're going to turn this around here in just a moment, and you're going to be interviewing me. But for now, I did want to, just for my listening audience, let them hear a little bit about you, kind of where you're from, and how you got to Cookville, and tell us about your business. Okay. Well, wonderful. Uh, I moved here at uh, the very old age of 19 okay. <laughs> <laughs> from Ohio. And and uh, had actually worked at a real estate office there while I was in high school. Okay. Uh, so through that, I learned that I, you know, wanted to get into real estate, and uh, that's what I did. I moved from Ohio so I could start a real estate business, and that's what I did. I moved to uh, Tennessee, which is where my family vacationed when we were little, and I always thought, you know, Tennessee was very attractive. Much nicer than Ohio. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, sorry, Ohioans, uh, yeah. or whatever you no, say. No, I there. think yeah, they uh, they probably, <laughs> they probably would agree. That statement. Right. <laughs> so uh, made the decision to move down here, and then got into real estate shortly after, and that's just been what I've done. Ever, Ever since, since. So wow. it's been about 20 years in real estate. Not here the entire 20 years. So don't be calculating that and thinking I'm over what I actually am <laughs> aged. But, <laughs> but anyways, um, our company is a team. We're the only team-based company in the area. Uh, every one of us works together. There's no competition within our office, which is nice. Oh, wow. Our clients really uh, do see a big difference with that when they work with us. So we've got a different setup than every other office around town. So I feel that that gives a different uh, aspect to their transaction, that they're able to have more hands-on you know, experience with each of us okay. and are really touched a lot more through the process. Perfect. So... What are you looking for right now? I mean, are you trying to get more properties to sell? Are you looking oh. for more sellers to buy? What? Uh, Most certainly. There are plenty of buyers out there. Of course, we always would like to have more buyers, but there are a lot of buyers out there. Okay. Inventory is what's lacking. Okay. It's a seller's market, and so we would really like to get some more listings out there. I think we're really going to see some change with the market since the interest rates are going up slightly this year. Yes, right. And they've already started that, so you've seen that, I'm sure. I have, yeah. There was, there was a little a bump in the market last week, and so people were uh, kind of freaking out, mm-hmm. uh, you know, thinking yeah. that the sky was falling <laughs> uh, when it really was just a garden variety pullback in the market. Uh, right. I don't know how much you follow the markets and, and that kind of thing, but, you know, the, the Dow went down as much as about 1,600 points intraday. It uh, ended up closing about 1,400 points uh, this this past Monday. And uh, so everybody, you know, I actually had one client that uh, sent an email saying, you know, I'm getting older. I can't afford to wait 10 <laughs> years for my mar- for my value to get back to even. I'm like, ma'am, you, you know, your, your investments went down about 1%. Right. I mean, this wasn't like the <laughs> crash of, 19, of 2008 yeah. where, where you lost 60% of your, you went down 1%. Yes. But people were just I so know. outraged by that. But, yeah, and it was uh, honestly that little pullback that happened was because of the Fed talking about how they're going to raise rates this year, which really is good for the economy. It's good for the overall health of the economy. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to, to your part of you interviewing me. But um, so 
Is there anything that really kind of sets Skinder Newton Realty apart from the other real estate firms, other than that you're, you know, you have a team concept, which I think is awesome. Uh, you. you don't have people that are backstabbing each other. Right. I mean, it's really a Been team there, concept. They're there trying to help each other, and uh, that is awesome. But is there anything else that sets you all apart? Well, we have different marketing plans. Uh, there is not a one size fits all plan. Okay. Uh, okay. Most agents have one marketing plan if they even have a plan. You know, they. Right. A lot of times we'll just wing it. Um, but we actually have several different plans that people can pick from, and we'll customize one that works for them. Uh, so that's a little bit unique as well. Uh, that allows us to have more success with the number of listings that we take that actually end up closing. So the high rate of what we actually take in for business that does actually successfully close. Um, and with that, our team last year, and me individually as a person, no one else had sold more properties than we had. So, really? Yeah, we had the, the highest transactions per team and, and myself individually. Uh, so we really are proud of that. So what we do works, and it's because we give 110% all the time. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Well, that is great. That is great. So uh, if someone, if you were wanting to uh, to sell a home or put a business or a home up for sale, do you do commercial as well as real, we do. Uh, mm -hmm. residential? Sure do. Right. And so if, if you're wanting to do those things, I would recommend that you go out and talk to uh, Heather or any member of her team because they're, they're all working together to work for you, which is just an amazing concept. And so if you want to find them, they're right there on the square next to the courthouse on Broad Street. Um, and so g give them a little bit more information on how they can okay. reach out and, and get a hold of you. Perfect. Our number is 261-9001. Again, 261-9001. That's easy to remember. And, of course, we're there at the, the city courthouse square. Uh, in addition, our website is easy enough, heathersellshouses.com. So heathersellshouses.com. That sounds awesome. So, uh, Heather, thank you so much for uh, you actually reached out to me, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, I know our producer, Brent, probably had a little something to do with that, so we're always grateful for him and Absolutely. all the hard work that he puts into our show. <laughs> you can uh, hear Brent Carl uh, Fleshman uh, a couple of different times. Uh, I'm actually going to throw this over to you and just let you say uh, where what stations you gotcha. talk on. And well, thank you, Jason, so much. You can, you can hear me in the morning on Good Morning Cookville. 6 to 8 o'clock every weekday, but also on Cookville's newest station, 106.1 The Eagle, Cookville's Greatest Hits. I do afternoons 2 to 7. I am a blessed man. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we're grateful to have him producing our shows. And uh, so when we come back, we're going to have a little break here and we're going to come back and you're going to hear Heather actually interview me. So it's going to be a little uh, change of roles uh, from my normal show. So I appreciate you all listening out there. Uh, God bless you. Have a great day. And I appreciate uh, you listening to Money in Motion. I'm your host, Jason Murphy from Diamond Financial Group, right here on News Talk 107.7 and 1400 The Hub. Protecting your home or business is important to you. That's why you might invest in an advanced security system or make sure you have the strongest locks on the market. But what are you doing about the sun? That big yellow ball of fire is shooting UV rays through your windows that can fade furniture and increase your energy costs. Fortunately, the Window Tint Company in Cookville can provide you with a championship-level solution, offering multiple lines of window film for any need. The Window Tint Company is the Upper Cumberland's expert when it comes to protecting your home or business business from blinding glare or damaging UV rays. And you'll still be able to admire those beautiful Middle Tennessee sunrises and sunsets. When you're ready to protect your home or business from the sun, give Jason and Susie with the Window Tint Company a call at 931-510-0830. That's 931-510-0830. Visit CookvilleWindowTintCompany.com to learn more or request an estimate. Hi, everybody. This is Jason Murphy, your host on Money in Motion, right here on News Talk 107.7 and 1400 The Hub. And I'm excited to introduce a sponsor that is a, an amazing friend of mine, Dr. Ken Schmidt-Motzen and Pam from Cookville Chiropractic and Physical Therapy. Located right there beside the Justice Center and beside where J.J. Jacks used to be. A lot of you are familiar with that area. And I have to tell you that I have seen Dr. Ken and Pam going back for 28 years. They are good 
personal friends of mine, but the services that they offer there are amazing. Dr. Ken is one of the best chiropractors that I know, and I have seen him over and over for neck pain, for back pain, for issues with my hips, where I've had car crashes and different things that have taken place in my life, and he's always been able to get me straightened out and back active the way I like to be with my boys going climbing and hiking and running and playing. So I encourage you to stop by and see Dr. Ken if you have any issues with your spine, with your neck, back, legs, he can check you out and get you taken care of. Now, Pam is an amazing physical therapist. I can tell you I just had knee surgery just a, a month ago, and I've already completed the turkey trot this past November, which was amazing that I was able just a few weeks after knee surgery, and Pam was able to help me get rehabilitated extremely quickly to get back out there and lead the active life that I enjoy. Also, they have a new nutritional program that is amazing to help you get in the right physical shape that you need to. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're just trying to get healthier, but you're not sure what type of nutrients your body needs, they can take care of all those needs right there at Cookville Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, located right there beside the Justice Center in Cookville. Welcome back to Money in Motion. I'm your host, Jason Murphy from Diamond Financial Group. Stop by and see us. And we're doing something a little bit different again uh, this segment, and we're allowing Heather to interview me. So, Heather, go ahead. Jason, why don't you uh, start off by telling folks a little bit about yourself and what you do? Well, I am, uh, I'm from Cookville, graduated Cookville High School in 92. That tells probably too much information about myself, <laughs> but I tend to uh, be very transparent. Uh, joined the Air Force. I was uh, active duty Air Force for 10 years, was in the Air National Guard guard for 10 more years, and that put me up till about 2012, and I had gone back to college, to Tennessee Tech, got my degree in education, and uh, taught for a year at Avery Trace. Uh, math is my specialty, and after a year of teaching, I found it a, uh, <laughs> how am I going to put this? Was it challenging uh, somehow? Well, I, I can tell you this. After I made it a whole year of teaching sixth graders and didn't oh. kill any of them, yeah. so I, I consider that a huge success. Success oh, and goodness. God ended up uh, putting finance in my path. And I'd always been interested in finance, Heather. I was really involved with uh, Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University mm-hmm. class. I've taught that uh, a number of times, going all the way back to around uh, 2000. Uh, it was when I really got started helping other people uh, with their financial, uh, with their with their budgeting and with their just finances in general, and mm-hmm. giving some advice on investing, although I didn't really know as much about investing until a good friend of mine, Daryl Phillips, who is the owner of Diamond Financial Group, approached me, uh, and I had been investing with Daryl and through Daryl for years, Okay. and he actually came to me when uh, he was visiting my parents and said, uh, Jason, I, this is going to sound crazy, but I really feel like the Holy Spirit of God has led me to to say that you're supposed to come to work with me. Wow. And, and I kid you not, that's a true story. And it took me about six months to realize uh, that God was calling me into finance as a full-time job and ministry. And it's funny to say that, that my job is a ministry, but it really is. Mm-hmm. And we can talk more about that if, if you want to here in a little bit. But so anyway, that was a little over, actually five years ago, I kind of started talking to Daryl and going through the process of starting to get all the different licenses that are involved. And so now we have been uh, in business together officially for four years. And just a year ago, uh, we moved into our new building, our new location that's right there beside Poets. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have seen the build out. Yes, in it's that. very, very pretty. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we're very, very proud of how that turned out. And uh, the owner of that whole building, J.D. Parks, has done a lot of work on the entire aesthetics of the building over the last year and is still making improvements. So we're very pleased with him as a kind of a landlord and uh, what we've been able to do inside our our business. So stop in and just, you know, if you just want to look around, I'm not going to try to, uh, you know, <laughs> They're not gonna get a sales p- p- pigeonhole you into something. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, but if you do want some advice, that's, that's what I do is help people primarily with investments. Mm-hmm. I am an investment advisor and a broker dealer, so I can help okay. people uh, buy and trade individual stocks stocks and bonds, or we mostly recommend mutual funds just because it helps you be a little bit more diversified. So, Right. 
Okay. Well, great story. Well, thank you. That's rather interesting. I have a uh, fifth grader, so I can understand. Wow. I would not want to uh, have a room full of sixth graders I'm teaching, you know. Absolutely. And then you get a whole slew of them switching, you know, classes every hour. And yeah. Right. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> yeah. And my two boys, I have two boys as well that I have to mention, and an amazing wife who is the school counselor down at White County High School and also has a private practice as an LPC, White County's first and only licensed practicing counselor. Okay. So she has awesome. yeah uh, a, a side business a private practice as a uh, a therapist and uh, then our two boys are uh, 12 and 15 about to be 16 actually next month pray for me there yes. uh, having a 16 year old about to start driving and all that yeah. stuff and uh, so but seventh grade and a sophomore in high school and amazing amazing boys so Wonderful. but uh, yeah fifth grader I yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> I, I can totally relate with oh, the, that age range but well, and I need to, uh, since I've mentioned my son, I need to bring something else up. Uh, he was just awarded Student of the Month over at All Good Middle School. So that I'm is super awesome. proud of him. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. What's his name? Barrett. Barrett, Barrett Newton. Yeah, and yeah. I think I've met Barrett at maybe one of the Probably. Jake's Day he or one of the to, big events oh, that we yeah. do. But He's all into all that yeah, stuff. So. That is awesome. <laughs> congratulations, Barrett. Yeah. Well, today I wanted to have you on the show to talk to you about money management and tips you can give to our folks because in purchasing a home, you know, they need to get their finances straight before they mm-hmm. take that step to get pre-approved or pre-qualified. Uh, and, they, and they need to get everything in line so that they don't put themselves in a bad spot when they do take right. that leap to purchase a property. And this is really for anyone, not just first-time home buyers. All of us need tips on managing our money. Every one of us. I mean, I'm even constantly trying to help my team. You know, if they make a comment about finances or, or maybe, you know, they're making some good income that they hadn't been used to before. And, and I want to guide them in the way that they need to so that they don't right. screw up and not earn from that money that they've earned uh, since they can make more from what they already have. Right. So you know all about that. And I want you to give folks some tips on everyday money management. So Jason, what are some things that you can tell us that would help us to get better situated with our finances? Well, I got to tell you, there, there's two main things that pop in my head immediately that are huge mistakes that people make when it comes to managing the, the money that they make. Oftentimes, people allow their money to manage them instead of the other way around. I already said earlier that failing to plan is planning to fail. And what that basically means is if you don't go into a month with a plan of telling your money where you want it to go instead of wondering where it went at the end of the month, you're going to have some major issues. So an amazing tool to accomplish that is called a zero-based budget. And it's literally spending every penny of the money that you make before the month begins. And there's a lot of different resources out there. I'm sure you could go to Dave Ramsey's website. He has free resources. But there's many other resources that are available where you can download spreadsheets that become your spreadsheet. It's just kind of an Excel type of program where you can actually put in your income for the month of March, for example and then you will go through every line item that they lay out for you and it subtracts from your income. So how much money do you need uh, for for rent or for um, uh, your mortgage? How much money do you need to spend on um, personal items, uh, food, uh, utilities? You know, it just goes through every single item that you will spend money on on a monthly basis and it's going to automatically uh, subtract that from your income and you want to to spend every penny. You get that down to zero dollars, even if you're putting money into savings or into future investing. So a, a zero-based budget is one area that I would highly recommend. And I have followed Dave Ramsey, and it, I don't know that he ever mentions the zero-based budget, does he? He does. He Absolutely, does. Okay. he does. I know he does the envelope system, but I don't know that. Yes. Maybe I've not heard it called zero-based budget. Yeah. The, okay. The, 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 his budgeting method that he prescribes to, that he trains and teaches people, mm-hmm. is a zero-based budget. Okay. Absolutely. I yes. just maybe hadn't heard that term then. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. And then we're going to have to take a short break, and we'll be right back. I want to talk more in depth about this and uh, get, dig a little bit deeper. You're listening to Money in Motion. I'm your host, Jason Murphy from Diamond Financial Group, right here on News Talk 107. 7 and 1400 The Hub. 
Exotic Tropicals, home of the healthy pet. Good common sense can lead to a favorable outcome when deciding when and where to spend your money. At Exotic Tropicals, they realize you can live without everything that is available at their pet shop. Thankfully, we live in a country and a community that allows us the opportunity to do more than just get by. Pets can enrich our lives in many ways, and Exotic Tropicals can help you care for your pets in a way that makes sense. Exotic Tropical carries quality products that they have experience with and know how to use. And pets that are thoughtfully cared for to ensure your success. Stop by Exotic Tropicals today at 45 North Walnut Avenue right here in Cookville. Or give them a call at 931-528-1080. Exotic Tropicals, home of the healthy pet. Protecting your home or business is important to you. That's why you might invest in an advanced security system or make sure you have the strongest locks on the market. But what are you doing about the sun? That big yellow ball of fire is shooting UV rays through your windows that can fade furniture and increase your energy costs. Fortunately, the Window Tint Company in Cookville can provide you with a championship-level solution, offering multiple lines of window film for any need. The Window Tint Company is the Upper Cumberland's expert when it comes to protecting your home or business from blinding glare or damaging UV rays. And you'll still be able to admire those beautiful Middle Tennessee sunrises and sunsets. When you're ready to protect your home or business from the sun, give Jason and Susie with the Window Tint Company a call at 931 910-0830. That's 931-510-0830. Visit CookvilleWindowTintCompany.com to learn more or request an estimate. Welcome back to Money in Motion. I'm your host, Jason Murphy from Diamond Financial Group. Stop by and see us. And we're doing something a little bit different again uh, this segment, and we're allowing Heather to interview me. So, Heather, go ahead. We're talking about everyday money management and giving some tips that Dave Ramsey, one of our favorite uh, financial gurus, likes to share. So uh, what are some more things that you can tell us, Jason, that uh, Dave recommends that we do and and these baby steps that we all hear about? Absolutely. Well, and if you're not familiar with Dave Ramsey's baby steps, I highly recommend just go to YouTube and type in Dave Ramsey baby steps and you're going to learn that the the number one step is actually getting an emergency fund of $1,000 uh, built up because if you don't have that area to go to when life happens and life is going to happen, then you'll immediately just go right back into debt. So step one is not to get out of debt. Step one is to get $1,000 in an emergency fund so that when you start tackling your debt and life happens, you can can lean on cash and not go back into debt, which is a cycle so many people get into. So step number two is to actually get out of debt. Uh, Sounds a whole lot simpler than it is. Mm -hmm. The average American household has approximately $36,000 in credit card debt alone. What? Yes, that is the actual numbers. $36,000 in credit card debt alone. That's the average. Wow. Uh, I mean, when you realize that seven out of ten homes you pass on the street are living paycheck to paycheck. Literally, if they miss one paycheck, then they're in trouble. They're, they're having to That's go awful. into debt to buy groceries. Most people don't have enough money in the bank to pay for a transmission if it goes out on a vehicle mm-hmm. or even a new set of tires, which people, your tires are going to need to be replaced. You need to plan for that. And so that's part of the planning that we can do at Diamond Financial Group. If you just want someone to sit down with you and make sure and point out some ideas, I mean, some things like it's amazing that uh, Christmas comes around every year. (laughs) Did you realize that? It's amazing. But it surprises people every year. It shows up and, oh, my goodness, what what am I going to do? And, you know, (laughs) Christmas is here again. And uh, so anyway, um, so using a debt snowball, there's so many different methods to get out of debt. But if you don't have some cash as backup first, once you get out, out of debt, or at least out of debt down to your mortgage, then we recommend getting a real emergency 
emergency fund, which is three to six months of your living expenses for when life really happens and maybe you lose a job or income drastically changes or someone gets a, a, real, a bad illness or injury and, and you're down and out, that, that real emergency fund of three to six months of living expenses can do a lot for that. And then after that, that's when we really recommend that you start investing. And, uh, and of course, you can invest along the way, but I normally don't recommend people start investing if they're not debt free and if they don't have at least a little bit of cash uh, for those emergencies that pop up. So. Perfect. And now on the debt snowball, mm -hmm. I don't know if I didn't catch you because I'm reading my notes here. Did you mention paying the smallest balance or smallest payment first? Explain to them how that Yeah, that I'd, I'd be glad to. And I didn't know how much detail or how much time we had. But yeah, a debt snowball is just simply going to allow people to use emotion to help you pay off your debts. It's not always necessarily the absolute smartest thing mathematically, but emotionally speaking, and that's what getting out of debt is really all about is appealing to one's emotion and enthusiasm and drive to knock out that debt. And so the easiest way to do that for someone is to have them list all of their debts from the smallest one to pay off to the largest one to pay off. And then they can go through and, and they start seeing debts fall. And as they pay off that first debt, they take whatever they are paying on that one and apply it to the second large or second smallest. Uh, and the the, the amount of money that they're able to pay off continues to grow or snowball until you get to your final debt, but now you're paying a very large sum of money off on that debt, and it's amazing how fast and how that emotion can help you build momentum and enthusiasm towards getting out of that debt. It really does work. I've done it myself. I think, you know, anybody who's listened to Dave, we've all probably had some debt at some point or another. You know, yes. you work through it, and, and that's the way to do it. It really does help to start from that smallest balance there and work your way up to the largest. Uh, you really, like you said, you create momentum, right. and it helps a lot. So, Absolutely. Um, you know, some oddball things that folks can do uh, with everyday money management, and just silly stuff that we don't think about all the time, is open your bills when you get them. Don't just let them sit and then forget about them and then you've got a late fee and there's more money that you've got to pay. Right. Then your credits hurt as well if you wait too long. So you don't want to uh, to just let those things just sit and linger. Um, also, you know, it, it, Jason can help you with this, but whenever you get a raise at your employee place of business or your company's doing better or whatever it may be, don't go planning to spend that extra mm -hmm. money. Invest it. Absolutely. And let me talk to that for just a second. In fact, I recommend if you're out there and listening to this and you happen to be 18 to 25 years of age and maybe you're just getting your first job, set good habits early. Oh, and my gosh. I, very, very important. And I recommend three, just th three tips for every young person, especially, that will uh, guarantee that you will be financially successful. In fact, I'll guarantee that you'll be a millionaire if you'll do these three steps. Step number one is give 10% of your money away. And some of you are like, what? Give 10% of your money away? How's that going to help you? Well, it helps you because I believe God is going to bless you if you start giving money away. And I personally believe that you need to give that first 10%, those first fruits, to God. And, and that's my personal belief. So I also believe that you should give the second 10% to yourself in future savings. So that's long-term savings that is not for you now, it's for your future self. We can't count on Social Security to be around when you get older. You, you can't necessarily count on a pension plan or some other uh, avenue, although those might be available to you. But what you absolutely can count on is your future investments in using the power of compounding interest to build up a mass amount of money. You can take an 18-year-old that starts investing $100 a month, and I guarantee you they're going to be a millionaire at age 60. It's mathematically certain that, mm -hmm. that they will if they go ahead and start investing in the market. Uh, $100 a month will be a millionaire. When if you start when you're 40 or 50, it's going to take thousands of dollars a month to become that same millionaire. Um, so that was step one and two is give 10% to God, give 10% to your future self. Step number three sounds 
easy, but it's very difficult, and that's to live off the other 80%. So that, that's my advice, especially Perfect. for young people well, that are getting started. Right, and if you start out that way, you don't know any different. Right. So it will work for you if you start out that exactly. way. Or if you just put yourself on that plan and don't li- uh, linger from it, I mean, you got to stick on that path and, and not, you know, veer off. That's right. Uh, also, you know, when you talk about this... It, Savings. I want folks to know, too, and I, and I might even put something on my Facebook page, and Jason, maybe you even have something that you can give me. Okay. If they will Google, if we don't put this up, if they will Google the difference between saving now at a younger age mm-hmm. as opposed to waiting, the numbers are so drastic. Oh, my different. gosh, it's awful. It really makes you want to reverse time and start all over again because you've even lost five years of in your 20s, you know, from 20 to 25, say, and right. you didn't save. Oh, what absolutely. What that could have done for you in just that short time because of the compounding uh, growth that you've got there. And I can give you a quick example of that where if you take an 18-year-old that does a one-time investment of $2,000 versus a 27-year-old that does a $2,000 investment every year, the 27 year old will never catch up to the 18 year old at retirement right there yeah so one That's put amazing. in two thousand dollars one time mm-hmm. never put in any other money and the 27 year old that puts in two thousand dollars every year can never catch the 18 year old because of compounding interest so heather i just want to thank you for taking time to interview me to have me on your show and uh, i'm glad to have you on my show it's been a pleasure talking with you uh, i just want to tell everyone that's out there listening if you do want to get a hold of me come by and see us right there at diamond financial group right beside poets on the square and uh, again if you want to see heather skinner newton and uh, li- talk to her team you can stop by right there and, and see her as well or you can call her number one one more time heather what is that number two six one nine thousand one. 261-9001. So uh, give her a call for all your real estate needs. And I uh, appreciate you all so much. Have a blessed day. Advisory services are offered through Creative Financial Designs Incorporated, a registered investment advisor, and securities are offered through CFD. Investments Incorporated, a registered broker dealer, member of FINRA and SIPC. 765-453-9600. Diamond Financial Group is not associated with the CFD companies. Hi, everybody. This is Jason Murphy, your host on Money in Motion, right here on News Talk 1077 and 1400 The Hub, and I'm excited to introduce a sponsor that is a, an amazing friend of mine, Dr. Ken schmidt and Pam from Cookville Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, located right there beside the Justice Center and beside where J.J. Jacks used to be. A lot of you are familiar with that area, and I have to tell you that I have seen Dr. Ken and Pam going back for 28 years. They are good personal friends of mine, but the services that they offer there are amazing. Dr. Ken is one of the best chiropractors that I know, and I have seen him over and over for neck pain, for back pain, for issues with my hips, where I've had car crashes and different things that have taken place in my life, and he's always been able to get me straightened out and back active the way I like to be with my boys going climbing and hiking and running and playing. So I encourage you to stop by and see Dr. Ken. If you have any issues with your spine, with your neck, back, legs. He can check you out and get you taken care of. Now, Pam is an amazing physical therapist. I can tell you I just had knee surgery just a a month ago, and I've already completed the turkey trot this past November, which was amazing that I was able just a few weeks after knee surgery, and Pam was able to help me get rehabilitated extremely quickly to get back out there and lead the active life that I enjoy. Also, they have a new nutritional program that is amazing to help you get in the right physical shape that you need to. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're just trying to get healthier, but you're not sure what type of nutrients your body needs, they can take care of all those needs right there at Cookville Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, located right there beside the Justice Center in Cookville. Exotic Tropicals, home of the healthy pet. Good common sense can lead to a favorable outcome when deciding when and where to spend your money. At Exotic Tropicals, they realize you can live without everything that is available at their pet shop. Thankfully, we live in a country and a community that allows us the opportunity to do more than just get by. Pets can enrich our lives in many ways. And Exotic Tropicals can help you care for your pets in a way that makes sense. Exotic Tropical carries quality products that they have experience with and know how to use. And pets that are thoughtfully cared for to ensure your success. Stop by Exotic Tropicals today at 45 North Walnut Avenue right here in Cookville. Or give them a call at 931-528-1080. Exotic Tropicals, home of the healthy pets. 